Today we have a new um, inverter. So inverters um, take a DC power source and make it into an AC power source. So this takes a DC input. I like the nice removable plug. There's your cooling fan and your plug and your power switch. Um, plug into here, plugs into your 12 volt outlet or 12 volt battery and gives you DC output. Uh, this unit is, uh, what is it, 300 watts or is it 500 watts? Where is it at? Yeah, 300 watts. That's what I, th I thought I remember it being 300 watts. So small unit, but it's fine. It's great for in the car, great for solar. Um, what I like about this is it's a pure sine wave, so you get proper power output, meaning clean power. Your electronics won't throw a hizzy fit. But also, this one has two USB ports and a 60 watt USB C PD port. That's really nice. You know, for example, I have this big battery here. And this big battery can charge at 60 watts USB PD. So I can use this to recharge that in a pinch if I need to. I can use it to recharge my phone at full speed. If you have a USB-C, you know, Ultrabook or something like that, like a laptop that charges off USB-C, it can charge that at full or close to full speed. Very, very handy. I also have USB battery packs. And these battery packs are capable of putting out 100 watts and then taking a charge at 100 watts. So I can rapidly recharge them using this. It's very handy to have that high power output USB-C PD, which you don't see very often on these devices. So not only does it have USB ports, and I believe those are also high power ports. Yeah, 503 amps. It's probably 3 amps shared. So if you plug 2 in, 1.5 amp, I'm guessing that's 3 amps shared. This is just says 5 volt. Yeah, I'm guessing that is shared, but that's okay. At least I, I at least have more than an amp each, so two and one, or one and a half each, or three and zero. But that gives you three amp output over the USB plus the 60 watts, up to 20 volt, 30 amp, three amps. So 60 watt maximum output for your power delivery CPD port, and then you got your dual AC outlets, 300 watt max between the two of them, and pure sine wave. So your your little electronic gadgets won't throw a fit when they're plugged into that, which is really nice and handy. <laughs> Overall, nice. I like the design. It's got rounded edges. I mean, it is plastic, but it's decent plastic. You know, they're all going to be plastic anymore. But um, it's not chintzy plastic. You know, nothing squishes or squeezes when I play with it. It does have a blow-through cooling fan. Good job. Not bad device.